What's up everyone, TGB here. Today I want to talk about some different habits that I've noticed that winning players have, uh, that losing players don't have, or vice versa. And so, kind of when you think about your poker play, when you think about the way you interact with the game of poker, uh, these are just some tendencies I've, I've noticed that winning players tend to do, uh, or losing players tend to do, and so shifting from the habits that a losing player does to the habits a winning player does um, right there, like, we're not going to talk about poker strategy at all in this video. We're just going to kind of talk about the way that winning players and losing players approach the game differently. So the first thing that I've noticed, and I think this is probably the most universally true, is that winning players will always be tracking their results to some degree. So whether it's shark scope, whether it's some type of spreadsheet that they have, but winning players are always kind of looking at the different stats they have, uh, and, you know, seeing what their ROI is, they're always kind of considering that. Uh, losing players will often just deposit, and, you know, if they win some, good, they'll cash it out. If they lose some, they'll just keep depositing. And so they never really know how much they're up or down. And I think one of the first steps that you can make uh, if you want to improve your poker game is tracking your results and kind of seeing, you know, how you're doing at various stakes and how you're doing in various situations. I think this is one of the main reasons that you see the majority of poker players think they're winning players, which is of course not possible. But the reason is because most of the losing players aren't actually tracking their results, so they don't realize that they're actually losing. The next thing I've noticed, and this is certainly to a lesser extent than tracking results, but losing players tend to blame run bad far more uh, than winning players do. They tend to be, you know, any hand they lose is variance, even if, you know, maybe, um, the money didn't even get in until showdown and their opponent hit a flush or a straight on the river, they'll tend to just blame run bad instead of realizing that, depending on the board, obviously depending on the spot, it may have been something that they shouldn't have paid off. Uh, winning players will do this, but to a lesser degree, uh, and often it's not necessarily thought of as a negative. Winning players are just kind of in the spot of like, okay, yes, I understand this is a variant game, like it's unfortunate that sometimes I'm going to get sucked out on, that sometimes I'm going to lose pots, but that's all part of the game. So I think you'll sometimes hear winning players talk about running bad, but they usually talk about it, and this is not 100%, but they usually talk about it with a very different mindset than a losing player who just, instead of reflecting on their own play, is just going to say, well, if you know the cards had run out better for me, then I would have won. Going along with that a little bit then, because losing players are going to tend to blame variants instead of looking at their own play, uh, one habit that winning players have that losing players then can't have is winning players will go back and they'll check spots they're uncertain about. So very often in any of my streams I'll say, you know, this is a spot like I'm not really sure, I feel like we're, we've kind of put ourselves in an awkward spot. Those are spots that I need to go back and check and see how I could have played the hand better. Uh, losing players will rarely do this. Uh, and because of this, there's there's kind of two types of main leaks. So one is leaks that you're kind of aware of, but don't put the time in to improve. Uh, and then the other is there are leaks that you just might not even know about. Uh, and those are, of course, the most dangerous leaks because it's very hard to fix those. Uh, but at the very least, if you have a spot you're uncertain about, whether it's posting in a forum, whether it's asking some friends, whether it's going, you know, to some Flopzilla or Solvers or anything like that, um, you'll see winning players going, I see a miser, you know, you'll see winning players check those spots and you'll rarely see losing players check those spots. So those are three habits uh, that I think if you don't follow those winning player habits, I would highly recommend doing that. It has nothing to do with poker strategy, it has nothing to do with the way you play your game, it's just good habits to get into as a poker player. As always, check us out on Twitch. We're streaming five days a week at twitch.tv slash thegoldenblazer. Like, subscribe, comment, and I appreciate everyone hanging out. I hope you have a great rest of your day.